Hi hey guys. guys, welcome to another episode of Tim Kui. Yes, and today we just want to have a different style of video for you guys just to talk with you before we enter the new year or maybe you are watching this in the new year. Yes, however we want to talk a little bit about our 2022. Yeah. It was a, a very good year for us. Yeah. Uh, both personally and together as Tim Kui. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the f Um So yeah, you can start. So like what what 2022 had to offer us was a lot of trial and error. And um I would say that it would have been one of our most challenging years, uh, especially as a couple, because it was the year where we decided to take uh, decisions seriously we decided to act on them yeah so um, you know this is the first year for me that I have ever gone skiing and in my mind you think that's funny but in my mind I never thought that I would do a sport like that I grew up in a culture that we always did traditional sports like um, relay racing um, basketball athletics so adventure sports for me, skiing is an adventure sport. I never thought that, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna partake in it. And even as I got to the point of doing it, I was still scared. What's your first, first ski experience? Uh, well, considering the fact that I spent most of it on my bum, on the snow, uh, I would say it's going pretty fine, yeah. Great. I didn't think I would go to a winter cabin, in Poland, experience all these things, but I decided that enough is enough with thinking that I can't do something. And, and I'm, if I can cut you off, I'm yeah. very proud of you that you did it because um, to me, as a person who was standing beside you, yeah. uh, more like Anastasia stood beside you. <laughs> to yeah, Anastasia you held, to held my hand most of the way as well. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, uh, well, as a person who was actually observing you throughout our journey as a couple, yeah. um, I really like the fact that you took this step further and you said, you know what, F it, I'm gonna do it. And there she was, skiing, and I'm really, really proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th that's the, in the beginning of the year, that happened in January, and that's the, the thing that I am most impressed about myself, that, you know what, if I can do something that I never thought that I would do, and that I always thought that, you know, I would be bad at or sucked at. Sure, I, I was suckish at it, because it was the first time I was doing it. But, uh, but what I want people to know is to always give something a chance. And yeah. even if you are bad at it, still give it a chance. Yes, when it comes to the winter, the beginning of the year, the January, February, um, I, I really like the fact that we went to Poland and I was able to take my friends um, I mean, by friends, I mean by then, I didn't know Anastasia, so like she was my friend, but she wasn't really because I, I didn't really know her. <laughs> yeah. um, but you know what, it was really nice to show someone outside of Poland, Poland, uh, show them the beauty of, of the mountains. Yeah. And then, actually, I really had fun going skiing. I also wanted to tell you guys, because this, this year has been like, a, I've been really blessed this year. I really feel like God has blessed me this year. Uh, in terms of in terms of work, in terms of my job, um, basically I was keep on being moved from one project to another one. Uh, but to be honest, because in the process of being moved, I wasn't really working, I wasn't doing anything, and that's what allowed me to actually travel a lot. And yeah. that's why uh, this year I've been out of Ireland six times I think and this is like the seventh time where I actually moved countries eventually um, starting in January with uh, uh, Poland with you guys yeah and in February Italy 
and then March, Poland, yeah. and so on and so on. And you guys on. haven't really seen all the travel that we've done this year. We have um, yeah, guys, also in April, uh, we had a really nice adventure. It was actually my first time in Greece in my life. And uh, we came to follow us for Easter. And the experience, um, the experience that we've had, you can guys go and watch the video. Um, the experience of Greece, of people, uh, or maybe it's just because mostly we spent here, we spent time here with Anastasia and her family, and that was just something beautiful, something that I haven't experienced before. Yeah. Um, it's even the fact that you know, like I'm from from Poland. We have either sea or the mountains. Here we have mountains at the sea together. It's like we cool. are currently in December. Like we are like approaching the new year. Today is the 28th, I think. Uh, yeah, 28th, 20, of, yeah, 28th nine. or 29th of December. And we're not wearing jackets. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I have this jumper so, and it's too much. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, we see snow at the top of the mountain from our apartment, but when we get to the mountain, we don't see any snow. It's just really warm, you know, like especially when you get down to the mainland here. Yeah, it's just really warm and you see people skiing, um, air, what's it called? Air sailing? Oh, sailing. Yeah, and you see people kayaking, rowing, and doing lots of different things. And, and swimming yeah. in the sea. In fact, as we're recording this video to you, with you for you guys, there was a guy who came. He just went and he swam in the sea. You know, that's yeah. that's, that's that's what I that's what I love this place. Yeah, and uh, it really showed me the beauty of Greece. I think I think I was sold back then. I was like, that's it. We have to move to Greece. Yeah, <laughs> I think another thing that I really loved about Easter was just experiencing the Greek culture and experiencing um, what Easter means to Greek people. And not just to be there for the celebration of it, but to actually understand it. And I feel like we captured just a little bit of that culture in our Greek vlog video. So actually, like this is is a shameless plug. Go and watch that video. You know. <laughs> yeah, both. Go parts. go and watch that video and learn a little bit about the culture yeah. of Greeks and why they celebrate Easter and what it means to them. And if you decide to come to Volos let us know we would we would love to meet you with you guys that watched our video and decided to visit volos just because you watched our video i think what was really special for me this year in 2022 was the 13th of june <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah yeah of course <laughs> why because it was my mom's birthday yes. and um we celebrated it in the most special way that we could think of we we took the family to france and and before we got there, I, I just want to say, guys, the, the best part of it is when I was, I remember I was in my room, uh, you were there too, and I was just thinking about how much I want to get out of this room and do actually something nice. Yeah. And that's where Acme said, like, oh, we should go somewhere for my mom's birthday. And I was like, you know what? Let me try France. I checked the tickets for Bordeaux yeah. and I was like, we're going. And guys, yeah. one hour later, everyone had a ticket booked with yeah. everything like yeah. the airbnb was well airbnb was a little bit later booked, but it was still like yeah. just amazing yeah so i think you know how tim just described that is kind of how our year has been going that we just made a decision in that split second and sometimes in life you can either think about it because i've spent my years thinking about doing something but before we get into this, let's think about it. Let's think about the cost. Let's think about the people. Let's think about the accommodation. And then he's like, are you done thinking? Let's do it. <laughs> let's do this so thing. yeah, we did that. And we also filmed a lot of it. Not everything. It's when you're recording, it's so hard to get every yeah. moment and you're going to miss moments as well. But we got like a lot of the moments, I would say. And um, we had an amazing time and just to see my mom smiling on her birthday it's something that i've always wanted to do i've always wanted to treat my mom for her birthday and my family had the time of their life and just to see those photos and those videos and pictures of us celebrating my mother it was yeah. so special to me from 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 visiting porto to kayaking 
yeah. to celebrating the other uh, birthday on the birthday night. It was absolutely it was so special. It was a great experience, guys, and it was a very nice thing for me as well because it was my first time going with your family on some such a big event somewhere and uh, not in Ireland. And and um, and I'm I'm really happy that that I was taking part of it. That I was considered someone who's gonna take part in the celebration and. Uh, yeah you africans are great <laughs> <laughs> when we came back to ireland we definitely went through a stage where we realized that ireland isn't for us it's not sometimes you realize when you're in a country that you're not really growing in a sense that you're not really exploring new things mm. and we felt like a longing for travel a calling for travel so like, even like, we, we always knew we wanted to move countries, but in my mind, I was thinking, oh, in 2024, when we have enough money, I kid you not, you will never have enough, enough money. money. Never. <laughs> Ask questions, guys, if you really want to do what we are doing, like traveling and seeing parts of the world, ask us in the comment section about something that you always thought about, but you just didn't know how to go about it. And we are so happy to help. Roughing it up. And we want to say to you guys that we are very, very, very thankful for this year. And yeah. we've done a lot of things, a lot of traveling, a lot of exploring, not only places, A lot but of also laughter, a lot of crying. Like, <laughs> what I like a lot is what I discovered about you is that you're a, I always knew that you're a fun person, but you know what? You put those skis on and you ski down at this year. It has been one of the, I think like one of the top three best years of my life. I've done a lot of things, a lot of laughter. I met you, I mean, I, I, I got to know you on a deeper level. Yeah. And, 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 and the best part of it, the best end of it is we moved countries. Yeah. And we are just happy. And you know what? For our little small subscriber count, we just want to thank all of you guys for being so supportive. I know that we've been kind of saying subscribe anytime we post one video, but you guys did subscribe. You guys did comment and, and you guys watch did it. watch and encouraged us. And we just want to say thank you. We are so grateful for you guys. And if you didn't hit the, the bell, please do that now. Cause you know what? You don't want to miss out on that. <laughs> hit the bell now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't, then we will throw you into this water. <laughs> I'll find you. <laughs> no, I'm no, not. we're not threatening our No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you guys again for watching till the end of the video. And we'll see you guys next year.